Good morning, welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. It's a busy day today. I wasn't feeling the best yesterday and did not go upload my meal prep. It's Monday that I'm filming today's video. So I'm gonna head out really quick to the local McDonald's and upload my meal prep. If you didn't know, I cannot upload from home. Our speed is so slow where I live since I live a little bit out of town. So I'm actually going to head to McDonald's, use their Wi-Fi, upload my meal prep. So I think for breakfast this morning, I'm just going to make a protein shake. I have lots and lots to do today. We are showing houses. I have to clean all of my makeup brushes. I have some really good food planned for you. So I'm excited to share everything with you. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. I do a what I eat in a day every single Wednesday. And don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized macros and calories. And you can chat with me directly with one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. Links, discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget to come join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. It is about 7.30. I'm hungry, let's make breakfast. So for our protein shake, I have my blender bottle. The protein that I'm using is the PE Science Peppermint Bark. As uh, the last time I checked on their website, it was still available. This was a limited edition protein, but it was still available last time I checked. One scoop is 120 calories with 24 grams of protein, and it is so good. If you love peppermint white chocolate, highly recommend. And then I'm actually going to use the Fairlife milk, a cup of that, so that I can get in an extra 13 grams of protein. These two together is a little thick for me, so I am going to add a little bit of water, shake that up, and that is our protein shake. So eight ounces of Fairlife milk, which is one cup. I'm weighing that out here on my food scale. One scoop of the peppermint bark protein powder. You can see this is a pretty good scoop, so it does make it really thick. So I'm going to add a little bit of water and shake it up. Breakfast is served. I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen for you. I'm home. I told you I wouldn't be gone very long. Here you go, bud. Here you go, Nuggy. Are you not gonna get up? Are you not gonna get up for your treat? It's okay, buddy, I brought it to you. Here you go. Good job, bud. So Palmer and I are here in my office and I was thinking about Valentine's Day. Super Bowl actually happens to be the Sunday before Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day falls on Monday. Troy and I already talked about it. We're not gonna do anything. We might make kind of a fun special dinner for us, but we're actually having a Super Bowl get together on Sunday. So we'll probably be pretty wiped out and getting a restaurant reservation is impossible. And it's pretty hard for me to eat out, honestly. So we're just going to make a healthy dinner at home. But I was thinking about Valentine's Day and what I wanted for Valentine's Day. And I let Troy know that I really wanted a couple more of the Dossier perfumes because I love the Dossier perfumes. They make replicas of high-end perfumes and they smell really, really similar to the high-end version, but they're only $29 to $39 before any discounts. And you can double dip on their discounts. So they generally have some sale going on on their website. And then you can use the link that I'll put down in the description box for you for an extra 10% off. So sometimes you can get 20, 30, 40% off depending on what types of sales they're running. So I let Troy know what two perfumes I wanted. He ordered those for me and they're here and I cannot wait to test them out. So I thought that I would share them with you. 
you and tell you a little bit more about Dossier and why I really, really love their perfumes versus spending my money on the high-end ones. So these are the two perfume boxes that I picked out. Their packaging is super nice. When you open it up, the lid says Iconic Sense, Designer Quality, and No Markups. You always receive a card that tells you the notes in the perfume and what it is inspired by. This is what the perfume bottle looks like. It's really nice quality, it's glass, and this is my favorite feature the magnetic lid. That way the lid doesn't fall off. I love to take these for travel because of that magnet lid. It never falls off in my suitcase. So the first scent I chose was Oriental Oak Moss. So again, on the card, it tells you that this is inspired by Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Perfume, which is one of my favorite high-end scents. The notes in this, the top notes are bergamot, orange, and peach. The middle notes are jasmine, rose, and patchouli. And the base notes are oak moss, vanilla, and velveteer. Vetiver? Vetiver. Vetiver. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But regardless, I can't wait to smell this. Oh. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. Wow, that is very very similar to the Chanel perfume. Honestly, if you were wearing this, nobody would know that you had an inspired by perfume. They would think that you were wearing the actual Chanel. It smells so good. It's fruity and spicy. This would be the perfect scent for spring. Since it does have that little bit of that spicy undertone and then those fruity elements, I love it. Oh my gosh. It smells incredible. It's still lingering. I'm really excited that I picked this one. And this one sells retail value for $29 before any discounts, which is amazing. I will go ahead and pop up here the price of the original Chanel perfume versus the Dossier. And the second scent that I picked out is the Floral Honeysuckle. And this is inspired by Gucci's Bloom Eau de Perfume. I love Gucci perfumes. Gucci perfumes are really expensive. This one is $39 before any discounts. The top notes are green leaves, orange, and honeysuckle. Middle notes are jasmine, sandback, and tuberose. And base notes are orris, sandalwood, and vanilla. Very excited. Oh. Oh, it's delicious. Wow. I don't remember the Gucci perfume smelling this good. I smell floral, I smell the vanilla. The vanilla is really the forefront of the scents that I smell, it's very sweet. And then you can smell that little bit of floral with that green grass. This smells incredible. Again, a great spring perfume, a great summer perfume, a great right now perfume. It smells incredible. Like I said, I don't remember the Gucci one smelling this good. So that's saying a lot that this is an inspired by perfume that smells, in my opinion, from what I remember, even better than the Gucci. So these are my Valentine's Day gifts, these two Dossier perfumes, and I couldn't be happier. This makes a great gift for your sister, your mom, your daughter, for yourself. You can definitely tell your husband you would like these for Valentine's Day. They ship very, very quickly. So if you order within the next few days, you should have these on time for Valentine's Day. I'm really excited about them. They both smell absolutely incredible. I'll make sure Dossier is linked down below with a discount. And then remember, you can piggyback that with any discount on the Dossier website. So happy early Valentine's Day. Grab yourself some perfume for yourself for Valentine's Day. Here's what I'm going to have this morning for a morning snack. These are my favorite little snacking cheeses, these Fontina ones. I get these off of Imperfect Foods. I don't know if you can buy these in your local grocery store, but I always just add them to my Imperfect Foods order. They're pretty good size. I'd say about the size of a Baby Bell cheese. They just have a lot of flavor. So I'm going to have one of those. And then I'm going to have my Nick Sticks. This is the turkey. You actually get both of the sticks in here for 75 calories. 10 grams of protein. So this is a really good protein packed snack. It always keeps me full and satisfied. I do buy my Nick sticks off of Amazon. I find that they are the cheapest there. They also have the spicy turkey sticks, which are the same calories, points, macros. They have a purple package, but I really like just the plain turkey stick in the green package. So I'll make sure I link those down below for you, but that's my morning snack. Like I mentioned earlier, I need to clean my makeup brushes today. All of these are dirty eyeshadow brushes. All of these are dirty face brushes. And I'm excited to use a new makeup cleaner that I picked up from Sephora. I've heard so many good things about this. This is the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. 
It says quick drying, rinse free formula. It was a little bit expensive. I bought the biggest bottle because I, I've heard such great things about this and this was really the more affordable way to buy it. I want to say this was 40 or $45. I'll make sure it's linked down below for you. But what I'm excited about this is you don't have to rinse it and it dries quickly. I can clean my makeup brushes and put them back in my drawer. And even the next day, they're still a little bit wet. And I don't feel like many of the cleaners on the market, even using Dawn dish soap, gets them completely clean. So I ordered this and we're gonna try it out today. So I have a washcloth here, which is what I'm going to use basically to wipe the brush on as I clean it. We'll see how good this works, if it actually cleans the brushes thoroughly, has them dry instantly. I've heard that it has kind of an interesting smell, kind of like a vanilla chemical smell. It has, yes, a little bit of a vanilla smell and it honestly, it has kind of like a gasoline smell, but not in a bad way. So let's test this out. I really need to clean all of my makeup brushes. We'll speed through the majority of the cleaning, but let's go ahead and test it out and see if it actually works. So I have a bowl here. I'm going to put some of the Cinema Secrets cleaner in the bowl. I don't, I don't know how much we need to clean the brushes. Set that off to the side and we'll go ahead and try this out. So it says to dip just the bristles in the cleaner and then wipe it on a paper towel or a towel. Wow, that <laughs> took all of that eyeshadow off. Pretty dry, I mean, it's a bit damp, but not bad at all. Wow, let's do a really dirty one so you guys can see. So here's the before, you can see the purple on the brush. Again, just dip the bristles in the cleaner wipe it on the rag, wow. And after, look at that, clean, completely clean. All of the colors off the brush. And these are dry enough that you could use them right now, which is amazing. I have to say, it doesn't have the best smell in the world. It does, like I said, have that kind of gasoline smell. But boy, it works amazingly. Look at that. That just blows my mind. These brushes look brand new. So before I kind of speed up through the cleaning, I did want to chat with you guys about something that I've been seeing a lot in the comment section of my videos. I've seen it several times on my little before and after photo, face to face photo. I'll insert that here for you guys that I posted on my Facebook group and I also posted it on my Instagram and I did get quite a few comments saying, oh, you look great. Congratulations on your weight loss. I can definitely see it in your face, but why are you wearing so much makeup? You look like you're naturally pretty. I don't think you need all that makeup. And I just want to, since we're cleaning makeup brushes, this seems to be the ideal time to have this conversation, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I wear makeup because I like makeup and because I'm an adult and I can choose to wear makeup if I want. And just because I may wear a little bit of makeup or a lot of makeup certainly doesn't mean you have to wear makeup, but it's very rude to comment about someone's appearance, even if it is just saying, oh, you're so pretty, you don't need makeup. It's really like a backhanded compliment. It doesn't really bother me, but I noticed that on that particular post, which is interesting because I wasn't even wearing, in my opinion, really vibrant ton of makeup, but I did get a few comments on that post about why I was wearing so much makeup when I'm so naturally pretty, I don't need all the makeup. So I just wanna remind you guys that just because we put ourselves out on the internet and maybe our style or our choice of wearing makeup is different than your choice of wearing makeup or your choice of style, please be kind and remember that we're humans too and we have feelings and just because we're out on the internet putting ourselves out there doesn't mean that we deserve to be criticized, especially on something like our choice of makeup. And just because I wear makeup doesn't mean you have to wear makeup and I wear makeup because I enjoy it and it's fun and guess what? It washes off at the end of the day. So I just wanted to share that because I did see quite a few comments, honestly, mostly positive, but a few comments about the makeup that I was wearing. So. I'm off my soapbox. I just wanted to remind you guys that, you know, we have feelings and just keep your comments nice. Okay, here
here's gonna be a true test. I have my foundation brush that is pretty loaded with foundation. You can see that a lot of the cleaner is gone. It does soak up quite a bit of cleaner. Oh my gosh. Look at that, you guys. Wow. That is insane. Let me show you the rag up close. I can't believe it just took out all of the built-up foundation in my foundation brush. So there's the rag. You can see all of the foundation on there. Wow, look at that. Look how clean that is. Wow, like I said, so far, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. All right, my makeup brushes are clean. Look at that, such a satisfying feeling. That took me about a quarter of the time that it took me to clean my brushes with soap and water, and these are dry. I could use these brushes right now. Wow, I am impressed. That's how much of the cleaner that I use, so really not very much, considering there's a teeny tiny bit left in the bowl, but it's pretty dirty, so I'm just going to discard it. I would say that out of the big bottle and cleaning as many brushes as I cleaned, you could probably do dozens of brush cleaning. So really not a bad price at all. It is the best cleaner I've ever used on my brushes hands down. So I'll make sure I link the Cinema Secrets down below for you. So I promised you guys in my grocery haul that I would try to remember to have this soup and what I eat in a day. I've had this before. I've actually been eating it all week and it is so delicious highly 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 recommend it's from the brand kevin's and it is the cauliflower cheddar soup with bacon it has great texture great flavor it is so so good a serving is one cup for 250 calories that's generally what i have it is so filling and so delicious i did pick it up at costco but you may be able to find this at your local grocery store as well you can hear my microwave in the background because my soup's heating up i'll show you my lunch and we'll go over the points and calories so here's my lunch. I used my cute little bowl warmers. These are so great because you can actually warm your soup up in these or really anything in a bowl and it makes it really easy to hold it, to eat it, to carry it. So I have a one cup of the cauliflower soup. I think that's going to be everything that I have for lunch. It's very, very filling. It does have some protein, some fat, some carbs. It's a really well-rounded filling lunch. So that's what I'm going to have and I'm really excited about it. For an afternoon snack, I'm going to have some of my blue diamond wasabi and soy sauce almonds. These are my favorite almonds in the entire world. I'm going to package up a serving. I'm going to take these with me. I'm about to leave to go show houses and I'll eat dinner when I get home, but I'm going to take some almonds along with me only because they keep me full and satisfied. It takes me a while to eat the whole serving. It's something I can munch on in the car. I'm also going to grab my water and we're going to go show some houses and I'm still waiting to find out whether or not I'm bringing keys to my client. Well, really not bringing her keys, but leaving the keys keys on the porch because she just tested positive for COVID. So I'm going to leave her keys and her gift on the porch for her. So we'll do that too in the event that we get the call and the go ahead for that. But we have two houses to go look at. So me and my almonds and my water are hitting the road. I'm officially about to show my first house of the day, but I'm a little bit early. My clients aren't here yet. So I thought I'd give you guys kind of an update on what's going on. So the client that I mentioned earlier today, the one that I thought I was going to have to bring her out her key to her new house. Apparently there was an initial missing on one document that the closing company missed somehow. So she has initialed that, but it hasn't recorded at the courthouse yet. So chances are I'll be bringing her the key tomorrow, which is a little bit of a bummer for her. It just delays her moving in an extra day, but it happens. It's part of the whole real estate game. And then we were originally going to be looking at three houses today. One of the houses, they had actually already accepted an offer earlier than what the listing said, which is kind of annoying, but they must have gotten a really good offer and decided to go ahead and accept it. So we're actually looking at two houses today. My poor clients have been through the ringer. I think we've put in at least eight offers and we haven't gotten a single one of them. It's just the market is insane. It's insane everywhere, but it's like doubly 
insane here. I think we were in the top 10 for the worst housing market as far as inventory and pricing. So hopefully today's the day where they like one of the houses. We put in an offer. They actually get it. It's cold. It's snowy. But I'm excited for them. And I just keep telling them, eventually we'll find your house. You just have to be patient. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up to the first house. I'll try to get some clips for you guys. I can't film inside the house, but I'll try to get some clips of the outside and then give you a rundown of what my clients thought. So I wasn't able to get any footage of the first house we looked at because my clients were already there, but we just looked at this little house right here. It's awfully cute. It's all been remodeled. I don't know if you can hear, but it's right off the freeway. There's the freeway. It's literally just hundreds of yards away from the house. So the freeway noise is a little loud, but it's a super cute house, two bedroom, one bath, fairly small, currently on the market for 250,000. I think we're going to offer 285,000 and that may not even be enough. So we shall see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. So I am headed home to have some dinner. For dinner tonight, I am making a ricotta bake. Like I mentioned in my grocery haul, I love ricotta cheese. It's one of my favorite cheeses. I found this recipe and it sounds amazing. We're going to pair this with some air fried chicken. I'm going to throw some of these Earth's Best Kids chicken nuggets into my air fryer. These are really, really, really delicious chicken nuggets and we'll have the ricotta bake on the side. So here's what you'll need for the ricotta bake. Of course, you're going to need ricotta cheese. I picked out part skim, an egg, shredded mozzarella cheese, marinara sauce. Make sure whatever sauce you choose is zero points. I count the Rayos as zero points. This has nice, clean ingredients. Parmesan cheese, Italian seasoning, and salt and pepper. So the first thing we're going to do is add eight ounces of ricotta cheese to a bowl. I have it sitting on my food scale, so eight ounces of ricotta. Crack in one egg. Some Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper. Mix that together until fully combined. And then stir in half of a cup of Parmesan cheese. This looks and smells incredible. We're going to add this to a baking dish. I sprayed my baking dish with some nonstick cooking spray, added my ricotta cheese mixture, and I'm just going to evenly spread that out in the bottom. Then we're going to take half of a cup of marinara sauce and put that right on top. Again, spread that out evenly. And then half of a cup of mozzarella cheese, which is about all that's left here in my bag, and sprinkle that right on top. The ricotta bake is going into a 450 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. We'll go ahead and get our chicken cooking in the air fryer as well. Chicken is done. This looks so incredibly delicious. I'm just going to leave it here in my air fryer to kind of try to keep it warm. I just pulled out the ricotta bake. Look at how amazing this looks. This is like lasagna without the noodles. Full of protein, 17 grams of protein per serving. The little pan here makes four servings, so it's quite a big serving. I'm going to allow it to rest for a couple minutes, plate it up, and I'll be back to share my dinner points and calories. So here is dinner for tonight. This actually looks really, really good. I was going to make a vegetable, but Troy said he didn't want one. And I'm not super hungry where I, I think that the ricotta bake and the chicken is going to fill me up. So I have one serving, which is one fourth of the ricotta bake. Doesn't this look amazing? It smells so incredibly good. And then I have six of the Earth's Best Chicken Nuggets. I have some of the Sweet Baby Ray's No Sugar Added Barbecue Sauce, which is zero points to dip my nuggets into. So I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen. I'll make sure the ricotta bake is on my recipe website and I'll link that down in the description box for you. But this looks incredible. I am super excited to dig in. For dessert tonight, I'm having one of my chocolate vanilla sugar-free pudding. I might put a little bit of sugar-free Cool Whip on top. This is just a super easy, pre-portioned out dessert. Tastes really good and just kind of gives you that whole chocolate dessert vibe. So that is tonight's dessert. So 
that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. Don't forget if you are in the market for a perfume for yourself or for a Valentine's Day gift, Dossier is super affordable and you know I am obsessed with their fragrances. I never spend high-end dollars anymore because their fragrances are so amazing. So I will link everything down in the description box for you. Along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to all my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join us on Facebook. We would love to have you. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Wednesday, and I'll see you next time. Bye. 